Okay, so I wanted to do a quick video on this location because this seems to be a house in Days to Confuse that is yet to be documented anywhere online as of the recording in this video. And uh, long story short, uh, I had some help pinpointing the exact location by connecting with someone that I know who actually worked on the movie. Well, I was able to pinpoint Sabrina's house from Days to Confused. If you watch the movie, about 27 minutes in, and then again, all the way to one hour, 30 minutes in, there is really no indication on where Sabrina's house was shot in Austin. Like there's not, if, if you look at all the Dazed and Confused film location blogs online, all the houses are, there's addresses out there for pretty much every one of them, except this house. And there's a reason for that because this house is, in the, in the two short scenes that it's shown on screen, there's not really any kind of clue as to where it resides. Long story short, sparing the details with a little help from my friends, so to speak, we found the house. This is it, Sabrina's house. It's literally shown twice in the movie. Uh, in the beginning, after the hazing car wash scene, which I did a video on that as well if you want to check my Dazed and Confused location playlist. You'll find it in there. After that scene, we the next time we see Sabrina is when Jody drops her off at her house. Now the angle that we see the, that the scene is shot from is actually from the yard right there in front of that tree. I'll show you now. So Jody in real life, if she was, let's say, to drop off Sabrina, would have come from this direction. And you know because the tr her truck is facing that way. It would have parked, been parked right there on the other side of the driveway. And shortly after I was shooting this right here, uh, the owner came out. And um, here we go. I'll, I'll just show you the clip. All right, so uh, a little bonus here. I just asked the owner of this house, uh, they just pulled up in this car and to uh, see if they'll let me, if it was okay. And he uh, said it was cool if I to get on the property and get a closer shot. So that's what I'm gonna do. And so um, Sabrina would have been standing right in this area here. And you've got, yeah, so she's in one shot, she's standing here looking this way this direction the camera crew would have been probably right here because you can see the grass in the foreground and of course that mailbox um, to the far right of the frame here matches up with what you see in the movie And of course, the, the Tudor house in the far left part of the, the frame. And so this is where the truck would have pulled in from this direction, uh, where uh, Jody's character drop off Sabrina, and they take off that direction. So that's that shot. And then this angle is uh, where she's looking out after uh, Tony drops her off and they share a kiss and they would have been standing right around this area and then you've got this angle here this close which would have been about right there that's about the shot and then this is where the at the time, the house number, where all you could see is 210, the actual house number is 2100. So, much uh, thanks to the the owners for allowing me to step on the property and do it the right way and get what I wanted to get. Okay, well, I hope you all enjoyed this somewhat exclusive of uh, Sabrina's house in Days and Confused. Again, I have not seen it documented anywhere else online. Uh, I plan to hit up the rest of the houses in the movie here soon. That'll be in a separate video. Uh, 
But until then, thanks for watching and uh, see y'all next time. Good night. Hope you're not grounded or anything. Thanks.